Chapter 1. Accidental Meeting. You are listening at FameTV.info. The game had just begun when a man kissed her very seductively. Their intimate embrace and thorough caress. She smirked, triumphant when he finally fell onto the bed, and then she took control of him. Voices with beautiful rhythms repeatedly filled the room, and the sound of love filled their ears. She lay down and was also pampered over and over again until she was finally able to see the man who had touched her. You backslash re so skilled, she complimented, Lyra Chromis, wiping her sweat and pulling over to the edge of the bed. Her big eyes flashed like neon lights in the city, beautiful and alluring. I backslash am glad we got to have fun, but sadly we won backslash t be seeing each other again after this. Why, the man asked, his voice deep and fierce. Because that backslash s the game. I backslash d find a good dot looking man to sleep with, then I backslash d dump him like trash. Does this sound evil to you? Lyra squeaked. Oh, come on. Aren backslash t men like that too. They will leave the girls after they get bored, right? Now I avenge all the sorrows of women all over the world. So, goodbye, sir. Her steps were light, along with the satisfaction of being able to dump a man. This was how she lived, this was how she survived. She would repay the pain with another pain. But before she managed to get out of bed, the man grabbed her arm tightly. Backslash, TCH, it backslash, S like this again, backslash, she thought confidently. Her head turned, her smile blooming like a lotus flower, sorry, sir, but I can backslash T see you again after this, even though you begged and gave me a palace and large land. I also don backslash T care if you give me a noble title, or offer me to be your concubine. It backslash S just a one dot night stand, so. I will kill you. Blinking her eyes quickly, Lyra widened her eyes. WH dot what? Didn't backslash T you here, he said, growling. I will kill you. B dot but why? Because you touched me. Suddenly the man in front of Lyra had a clearer face, from previously shrouded in mist slowly becoming solid. The clumping mist had thinned, faded until it had completely disappeared. His indistinct face was now recognizable, and her eyes widened even more, almost falling if only that were possible. Duke Cleo. Lyra quickly got up to run, but her legs felt heavy. When she turned around there was a chain around her legs. Trapped, she screamed for help. Help. Tanny. Jerry. Help me. Her hands grabbed empty air, while her feet had been dragged by Duke Cleo. Her screams were deafening so that they could rupture the eardrums. Duke Chloe had turned into a gigantic monster, which released its weapons which were its long fangs. At that moment suddenly Tanya and Gerald, her two best friends, appeared. But they did nothing but stand and look grim. I told you to stop playing with men, lie, Tanya said, wiping her tears. Now you backslash v found a worthy opponent, Gerald said. You must pay your sins, Foxy. They walked away, dressed in all black and carrying bouquets. I backslash am not dead yet. Lyra shouted. Come back. Save me. Grower. Duke Cleo raged. You have touched me. Now you must die. His fangs sticking out in the air, even able to pierce the sky, his eyes were red and ruthless. His long fingernails pierced the last piece of cloth Lyra had on her body, then he stabbed with his fangs, ready to slay her. No. Eventually, death would come to her. The fangs fell and tore at her body. No. Go away. Go. I won backslash t sleep with men anymore. Go. Lyra. Lyra. Foxy. Wake up. You backslash relate. Go. Hosh. 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 It was all just a dream, luckily. 
Lyra managed to wake up with a pathetic face, full of tears, drooling marks at the corners of her mouth, and a dazed face. In front of her stood her two best friends, Tanya and Gerald, who were looking at her without moving. I backslash am awake, she snorted in annoyance, after she couldn't backslash T stand the stairs of her two best friends, then fell on the bed, calming the beating of her heart and also her ragged breath. Damn, a nightmare. Her hands covered her face, blocking the sunlight that entered through her bedroom window. Footsteps sounded away, it must be Gerald backslash S, who was busy preparing breakfast. He backslash S the chef in the house. While Tanya stood bowing to Lyra. Hurry up and wake up. Gerald will be mad if you don backslash T get up for breakfast soon. I forgive you because you just had a bad dream. Gerald shouted from the kitchen. But tomorrow morning you still have to take part in making breakfast. You backslash re not a princess, Mississippi. Lyra rolled her eyes. From behind her hand, she peered at the table, at the clock above it. 8 a.m. In two hours she would go to buy a dress. There was a party she had to attend. Oh, the princess is awake. Gerald put down the food he had just finished cooking, while Tanya poured the sweet milk into glasses for them. The only person lazing around was Lyra, it was just her. Tie your hair before you eat. Tanya got up to tie her best friend backslash s hair, which was golden blonde and slightly puffy. Honestly, you backslash re beautiful, foxy, so no wonder many men would fall for you, Gerald commented, pulling up a chair and then sitting down, squishing his sturdy body like a healthy bear. But how long are you going to have to do this? And you said you backslash d stop sleeping with them. I hope you keep your word, so just cancel your plans to attend tonight backslash s party and help us out at the shop. Grr, you are too hard on her. Tanya sat down after finishing tying Lyra backslash s hair. Her hair was jet brown, and she had beautiful green eyes. She was the perfect mother figure in the future. I must. Gerald insisted. Because if I don backslash t do it then she backslash ll be causing more trouble. His finger flicked Lyra backslash s forehead, ignoring her best friend backslash s screams. Don backslash t go to that party, he said, forbidding her. If you still want to eat my cooking then do what I want. I backslash am tired of all those guys who are crazy about you. You backslash re jealous, right? Lyra said casually. H-U-E-K. Gerald squinted in disgust. Never, he continued. Just obey my orders or I one backslash T crack the problem you backslash re causing. Mama. Lyra whined at Tanya, holding her best friend backslash S hand. Papa is too mean to me. Please take me to buy a dress so I can meet my new friend. Tanya took a deep breath. She knew she wouldn't backslash T be able to refuse Lyra backslash S request, so she nodded. Gerald snorted and left in annoyance. Who, oh, you ugly bear? Lyra cursed. What did you say? Gerald glared as he turned around. When he saw Lyra glaring like a deflated balloon, he snorted again then completely left. Seems like Gerald is really mad at you. Tanya backslash s eyes narrowed at Gerald, who was busy moving stocks that had just arrived at the shop. They had a small shop selling snacks, Gerald would be the chef, of course. Its income would be used for its daily living expenses. Don backslash t you want to obey him just this once. Lyra snorted, glancing at Gerald as well. Her hair was flowing beautifully, falling to her slender waist, against a simple, pretty blue dress. He will be dictatorial if I obey his will. After all, he promised that as long as I didn't backslash t commit suicide then he wouldn't backslash t have a problem with whatever I did. You backslash re-outrageous. They walked hand in hand, towards the nicest boutique in town. You guys have been friends since childhood right? Yeah, that backslash s why he should understand my feelings better. Are you still hurt by that matter? 
who doesn't backslash t get hurt? Her feet kicked the gravel. Even people without feelings will do the same. They passed a very crowded traditional market. The retailers were busy selling their wares. The countesses were seen passing by with their hordes, wearing dresses with fluffy skirts, and hair tied tightly in various styles, soft hands covered in gloves. While the countess wore their royal suits, which were always filled with fine and distinctive embroidery, golden and beautiful. They were magnificently wearing hats, glancing at princesses, waiting for a reach dot out of hand so they could talk. Uh, I have to find one of the additional nobles to sleep with. Tanya frowned in surprise. Hasn't backslash T Lord Jason had enough? He backslash S just a baron, I need to get more than him. Besides, he backslash S too soft. You talk as if you backslash re going to marry him, Tanya commented. They continued their journey until finally found the most famous boutique in town was in front of them. The door was made of aesthetic teak wood, several beautiful statues decorated the entrance, including the mannequins that were displayed behind the window. Lyra grabbed her best friend backslash S hand, darting to examine the boutique backslash S latest collection of beautiful dresses. Their eyes were spoiled by an array of worldly beauties, which could easily linger on their bodies in a moment. Tanya jumped with joy when she saw a navy blue dress catch her eye. She instantly pulled her best friend backslash S arm to try it but was unfortunately rejected. Navy blue is less flashy, tinny. I have to stand out to get more handsome and rich nobles. Lyra screamed at the sight of a fiery red tight dress. Her expression was too exaggerated as if she had just found a whole box of gold. Then she grabbed it, looking forward to trying it on. But suddenly there was a countess who pulled it. As a result, they got into an argument. Sorry. The countess raised an eyebrow, surveying Lyra backslash S appearance from head to toe, mockingly. I grabbed it first. I saw it first, Lyra said, she didn't backslash T want to fail. But I want it so I will have it. Without courtesy, she pulled it, then pushed Lyra toughly and deliberately. Because the push was too strong, Lyra backslash S body tumbled backward, as if all gravity was aiming at her body for an embarrassing incident in the middle of the countesses in the boutique. Tanya screamed trying to help her, while she was stunned by what was happening. Backslash, no, anyone, save me. I can backslash T fall on the floor being pushed by a countess. If that happens then it means I will lose twice. No. Anyone help me. Tuck. Her body did fall, hitting something softer than the plush boutique marble floor. Her tightly closed eyes, anticipating the impact, now narrowed as they slowly opened. She saw everyone gaping, took one step back, avoiding her body which was standing crookedly backward. When she looked up, she finally knew why they had done that. Get out of the way or you backslash LL regret it. It was Duke Cleo, who was currently standing coldly, supporting her weight on his chest. His eyes were barking as if fangs were about to come out of his mouth. Duke Cleo, she stammered, taken aback and almost at a loss for words. Get out of the way or you backslash LL die, he said, intimidating again. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.